team fought back and forth there. Yeah, well, the second half, we just competed better, you know. Um, we were just better in every phase a little bit. We got more aggressive. That was the talk at halftime. We wanted to, you know, A, get the ball inside more frequently and B, get to the basket, and we did. I think Chance got to the line about 10 times or so in that second half. And, uh, you know, Grace got to the basket. We got Philly loose a little bit. So, yeah, we just can't spot a top five team. You know, I don't know what it was at halftime. It was got to be 18 or 20. Uh, you just can't do that and then come out and play. You know, they're going to relax a little bit. I get it in the second half. Uh, but we fought. Uh, what did we cut it to? Can't remember. Seven. And, uh, and then tur uh, turnover, you know, uh, that, that resulted in a, you know, a layup at the other end. And there you go. For all intents and purposes, then it, uh, it became a lot tougher. But uh, uh, I was really proud of the team, how they competed in the second half. We just, we just got to do that right from the get-go. And I don't completely understand why. What does it say about this group to go into halftime down that big and then make it a game and, and make it competitive down the stretch? Yeah, that we've got some gamers. We've got some com competitors, uh, some people that play with pride. And, um, you know, and they showed that in the second half. You know, they showed that. Coach, with how fast Sherrod is, and, you know, they're making a lot of their money off the fast break, you guys holding only eight points. What was kind of the defensive assignment against her? Well, just get back. I mean, <laughs> you know, she's, she's hard to contain in the half court. She's, cer she's impossible to guard in the full court if, uh, if she's getting downhill and play going with a head of steam. We just don't have anybody that can match that quickness, athleticism. So, you know, second half, we it's kind of ironic – you know, we we wanted to get back, you know, to that was the plan to start the game, but we only got one offensive rebound uh, in the first half. So we said in the second half, let's just all get back. And then we ended up with like seven offensive rebounds, so go figure. But, I, you know, listen, this whole weekend, I thought defensively we played well enough to – to, to at least compete and be close and win these games. We just we just don't have enough firepower offensively. You know, we just we, it's a struggle. It's a grind to to try and score. And you know, I thought second half, like I said, we we did better. We got aggressive. We got to the line more. Uh, we just uh, we got we got to you know hit some threes. We've got it. You know, they were just sitting on Philly the whole night long. They weren't even guarding players you know at times they weren't guarding two players on the perimeter so unless you have somebody that can knock those down well what the hell are you going to do so we we've just got to you know keep the confidence level up and uh but at some point our players have to see the ball go through the basket that's the only way i can pump them up all i all i want to but at some point they've got to see it go through in a game Struggles offensively, just how would you rate the team's defense tonight and how has that um, kind of uh, been as a role in your guys' games kind of moving forward through the Pac-12 season against some tough opponents? Yeah, our next five opponents are ranked. I told the team after the game, I said, guys, it doesn't get any easier. I mean, we're going to see nothing but ranked teams here for the rest of the game, uh, rest of the season. But, yeah, I thought our defense was good. We held them to 34% from the field. You know, and when we've done that, you know, that's all I can ask for. But – the, the downside is they got 20 offensive rebounds. You know, if we cut that in half and cut their second chance points in half, you know, then you have a chance. So there's a good side and a bad side to it. But defensively, like I said before, we're defending well enough, you know, to hold two top, really top 10 teams, okay, in the low 60s the last two nights. Actually, Utah didn't even get to 60, and they're the leading scoring team in the, in the conference. That's good enough. You just can't beat teams scoring 48, and I think we scored 48 last night. So, you know, we've, uh, we've got to build on that defense, but, uh, you know, it's at the offensive end. We've got to find some answers. It was a game for Chance where her shots weren't falling, but she was set a career high with 12 free throw attempts. What did you like from her effort? Well, she was aggressive, and that's what, you know, smart players do. If the shot's not going down, then you find another way to score. Uh, usually, though, when you get to the line like that, you start to get a rhythm because you see the ball go through the net, and it just never really happened. So, um, you know, and I, I ask a lot of, of those players. They play a lot of minutes. You know, Philly didn't quite have the same get up and go, I, I don't think, in the first half tonight. Well, she played, what, 38 minutes the other night? You know, we're playing. I don't know why the Pac-12 has gone to this 7 o'clock Friday night and noon. Is there a reason? Can you guys answer me that? We used to always play 6 and 2. 
and now they're going seven and noon. I, I, is the, I mean, in the few houses that actually get the Pac-12 network, is that somehow getting higher ratings? I don't, I don't get that. You know, and so for teams like us who just don't have a deep bench, you know, that's a quick turnaround for, for these guys. So, uh, but then Philly got it rolling. I'm proud of her. She had a, she had a heck of a weekend. So, Sophia in, in the walking boot, is she out long term? Yeah, I never mess with that stuff. I just, I don't know. I have no idea. And Kennedy Williams is still hobbling. You know, we, we can only play her in case of emergency, quite frankly. And yeah, we're just, uh, you know, we don't have a lot uh, of, of guard play. So when we lose one like Sophia uh, and then Kennedy, that, you know, puts us in a tough spot. But it is what it is. You got to play through it. You know, got to play through it. And I know you've said you're not going to make excuses with injuries, but do you think some of these lineup changes with the injuries have kind of affected how, how you've started games? You missed Grace last game. Yeah, but we've started actually relatively well. You know, tonight we didn't, but you look at our history, Our in, even in Pac-12, we've played everybody relatively outside of Stanford Hill. <laughs> uh, pretty close early, you know, and, and at, I don't think that's been our, our issue our starts going back to the rebounding they out rebound you in the first half but then you match them in offensive rebounds i rebound them just slightly in total rebounds in the second half what do you attribute that kind of flip on the boards to i think just they they played with a little bit more pride and toughness in that second half and um you know we have to do that right from the from the start i, I feel a lot better you guys I, I obviously don't like to lose ever but i feel better about this game after the way we played the second half. You know, that showed me we, we played with some character, and, and so I'm proud of them in that regard. What do you think is, is motivating this team? What made me voted or motivated them at halftime to kind of come out and play a little bit better? Is Offensively, is it just kind of a rhythm thing for them? Or what kind of gets them going and into a mindset where they can come back and make it a seven-point game? I don't know, because I don't know. Whatever that was, I'll do it at the start, you know. I, I, I tell you, I have a lot of respect for Colorado. As you guys know, JR played for me. And she coached with me her first five years in coaching. I'm really proud of her. One of her assistants, Taylor Carr, played for me, and she was an assistant here for a couple of years after she graduated. Uh, and, uh, Tor and Toriano, JR's husband, was also worked for me as well. Uh, I'm really proud of them. Uh, and I, Jalen Sherrod, I, I have a lot of respect for her. And, uh, you know, it was five years ago, her freshman year, we beat these guys by 50 here. It was Jalen's freshman year. And I remember she had tears in her eyes after the game. She played her heart out that game. Played till the final buzzer. And it wasn't even close. And now look, five years later, you know, what she's done to the program, she stuck with them. You know, five years and look at the change that they've made. And uh, so I'm really, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for, for that locker room. You know, JR is, is like a daughter to me. And, uh, you know, I hate to lose. If I'm going to lose, you know, I don't mind their, them being the winners. But uh, she's just somebody that I think we should all look up to. You know, she plays the right way. She plays with passion. Uh, she elevates her teammates. You know, she does uh, all the things that, uh, you know, the impactful players are supposed to do. And uh, that's pretty neat. And, you know, they're – listen, that's – I told JR before the game – and I don't want anybody to take this the wrong way. They play like an old men's team in rec league. You, you know what I'm talking about there? Guys that just freaking know how to play. That's a compliment. So I don't want anybody saying that it's not. That's a compliment. You know, they, they make the right plays. They move the ball. They get it around. They, they, they play with a high IQ. And guess what? They have five fifth-year seniors. You know, there's not a single player in that rotation that hasn't played at least three years of basketball college in that program. And that just makes a huge difference. And so they're fun to watch. I mean, I watched a ton of their games leading up to this one. They're just fun to watch. They play their butts off and they play the right way. And that comes from, uh, from Coach JR. So.